Shoddy Bumpin' actually was, you know, it's one of the experiences that I've actually, you know, it's going to be part of the album and stuff. I just wanted to release a couple singles, you know, but that's going to be a part of the, you know, bo- uh, like, you know, part of the album and everything. But I actually wrote Shoddy Bumpin' two years before I did the song. So like that whole experience and everything was already done for like decent amount of time. And just, um, you know, I had I did a version with, you know, Santiago, my homie, and, you know, didn't really go anywhere with it. I didn't really release it or anything. Um, but it wasn't until I met with Jay Beats over in LA and heard maybe like the third beat that he played that I was like, yo, this is the same kind of um, BPM and everything. I think this would work up with the lyrics that I have. And I dug back and it just worked perfectly. A lot of the songs I wrote, I had written out before, you know I mean? I always wanted to try to get like all those experiences that I've done, like and really have that kind of, that album be sent around, like all those experiences that I wrote about before. But I think the hardest one to, for me to really kind of get into and really get all the emotions that I wanted to kind of um, get get out to, you know, the, the audience and everything was uh, probably a song that I have called uh, Devil's Eyes. And um, uh, that's just mainly talking about um, the times in my life where I've, you know, I've come really close to ending it. You know what I mean? Like where I have come, you know, that close to being like, you know, I'm done. And I've taken the steps, you know, to do that and just gotten lucky too many goddamn times, you know what I mean? Um, So I feel like definitely, because going back to those, all those emotions, because through every song that I wrote, you know, it's almost like, you know, going back and feeling those emotions all over again. So feeling that scared and feeling all the anxiety of, you know, barely making it out and, you know, waking up, you know, maybe two days later, you know, after you were passed out for two days and, you know, waking up in a fucking daze, like, Oh shit, you know, I'm, I'm still alive, you know, type of shit, you know what I mean? It's like going back to like and feeling that over and over again and throughout the entire song. You're hitting it right on the head, bro. It's been the most therapeutic thing I could ever ask for my life, better than any therapist, better than, you know, talking to anybody that, you know, is it's, it's, it's saved me, bro, it saved my life. You know, it's, it's been the, the best way for me to really move on and to, to move forward when I, you know, was stuck. I was stuck in my eight year old, you know, mind for the longest time, just trying to fucking figure out why, you know, everything had to be how, it, you know, had to be doing my last song that I just did, uh, my new drill single that I just put out, um, take me home. And that was because I really went and tried to do something new. Like I felt so comfortable and so like just confident in myself that I was like, yo, I want to do something new with uh, the drill genre. You know what I mean? I want to try uh, and uh, put in, you know, what I think, you know, would be like a more rock type of feel, you know, a more melodic type of feel to, you know, and, and see how much drill can, you know, drill can grow from that. Cause I see honestly drill kind of almost like at, at hip hop as it's uh, beginning stages, you know what I mean? It could really grow as a genre with how popular it's getting. People can do a lot more than they think they can with it. And that's just all I wanted to do. So I think that was definitely a highlight where, you know, I was like, damn, I actually, you know, am so comfortable with myself that I'm ready to, you know, do something new, to try something different and to not really, really care, like if anybody really got it or not, you know what I mean? If anybody really understood it, you know what I mean? Because I loved it. I loved how fucking different it was. And I love that I just gave it my all and then put my heart into it. And that was it. Even right now, you know, I just, um, what's it called? I'm working on um, the last song on my album right now, I'm writing uh, out the final song to Jonathan. Like it's gonna be the main, you know, kind of the main song. It's gonna be on the second, dropped on the second part of the album. But you know, I'm still kind of working on it. Like I really wanted to spend my time and effort on that last song, but you know, it's, it's gonna be fucking crazy. And I feel like you really enjoy it, especially probably the the more rock and hip hop, you know, variation of things. Uh, maybe just a little bit more about you know the album stuff. You know, it's coming out June 18th. That's gonna be you know, the first part you know, of my album, I'll have the second part coming out probably six months later. Um, but um, what's it called? You know, maybe just plug myself up a little bit, you know, social media shit. You know, I'm, all, I'm on all major social medias and stuff. I've been really kind of trying to get into it and be more active and more involved. So, um, you know, any interaction I can get on there would be awesome. You know, Twitter, Instagram, if you guys have anything, you know, you guys would like to say, that'd be fucking dope. I always like to, you know, get involved and to talk to other creative individuals. There's so many people on my DMs and stuff that I just talk to about music on like a regular day basis. So it's, it's really nice to really get more involved with social media as it is, even though, you know, there is hate on there, you know, whatever, fuck all that shit, you know what I mean? But um, besides that, you know, I'm, I'm on all major um, streaming platforms as well for all my music, Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, I'm on all that. And um, 
yeah, just be making sure to check me out for the future, you know, in the future and stuff. And, you know, I really appreciate all the support that you guys have, you know, been giving me, you know, especially being a new artist and stuff. It's, it's, it's awesome to be able to, you know, feel like, you know, to have people, you know, believe in you and to, you know, give you the opportunity. So I'm grateful for every single interview that I have. And uh, it's, it's awesome to be here.